repairing maintenance. Um, I've used this here a lot, uh, latest and the battery is starting to make a loud noise, like this. As you can see, is as you can hear, um, yeah, it's time for maintenance. So first thing is to take the bearing apart, and then we will need. Oh, better! I use isopropyl, uh, which is isopropyl alcohol um, at ninety-nine point nine percent. Make sure it's a high percentage. Um, above 90 percent or uh, it will leave a residual then we'll need some um, thin loop for unresponsive bearing a nail little container where to where to pour the alcohol and i use uh, one compartment of this um, of this box. Uh, finally, we need some tissue to um, to dry up the alcohol and the and the bearing. So first thing first, we need to deshield this bearing, and you can do that by taking apart this. I don't know if you can see it on camera but the shield is kept in place by uh, some Sager which is a um, spring ring actually that keeps the shield in place so so what we're gonna do with the needle is to try to remove this, um, this ring of the bearing there we go one is gone the shield is removed now I remove the shield also uh, from the other side and the shield is out so now you can see you can see all the balls of the bearing and you can see through so next step is to some isopropyl into the design container just a thin layer of alcohol place the bearing in and with the needle or with um, a toothpick you can Start and ramble the bearing around into the high core. I don't think you can see it on camera, but um, I can see some dirty particles uh, floating around the high core right now. Take the bearing out. And I just pour this other uh, piece into the container and it will eventually um, absorb all the, all the alcohol in excess. Uh, this alcohol will in, in any case evaporate in a couple of minutes. This that I just pour around. Now we need to have this bearing spin to dry up and so I just use a pencil and let this bearing spin and you can already see uh, heard that the sound is totally different if you have compressed there you can also use compressed air too uh, drive the bearing up you see that there are still some 
alcohol residue alcohol residue on the bearing whoops where is it going and so keep spinning it until there is no more residue because once you once you put it play once you put it back in place into the yo-yo if there are alcohol residue it can um, and ruin the response path, which is in rubber. Okay, so now it's time to loop. And this is um, the most important part, in my opinion, of this process. Someone, uh, someone doesn't loop the yo-yo at all, the bearing at all, uh, but I suggest to loop it in this way, which is a very, very, very light looping. And so I take the pin, the, the needle, and I apply a small drop of lube on the tip of the needle, the needle, like this. The most will drop off on the tissue, and I keep a little, little amount of lube on the tip of the needle, and place it into the bearing. Take my pencil and then I make it spin very lightly. I don't want to the loop to drop off the bearing. The process is now complete. I can now mount the bearing back to my yo-yo. I will not shield it back. Uh, this shield and ring, uh, I, will, I will throw them away. And it will stay responsive for about uh, one or two throws, uh, not more actually. Well, we can try it together now. All right, uh, first row. Yeah, it's catching the string a bit into the gap of the yo-yo, but it is not responsive. Let's try a bit more powerful throw. Still. It is a slightly responsive with a powerful throw. But yeah, in a couple of throws uh, it becomes totally unresponsive. I hope that you found this video useful. I am Diego B. Thanks for having spent a bit of time with me today. So long.